What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Road to Glory. You join us with our Everton squad that we had from last episode, but with some of the players missing because we have sold Gary Lineker because he was terrible. We have sold Robinson because he wasn't great. And we sold Lucy Bronze, who was absolutely class, but her game isn't for a while. So it was nice to try her card out. I thought she was really, really good, but she's not going to be getting an upgrade for quite a while. And if we jump back over to our actual squad, obviously we also have Cafu. So, whilst it's fun to run around to a past and present Everton team and put Lucy Bronze in it, I feel like it's perhaps a waste of 300k when we're not doing past and present Everton to have her in the squad. When we've got Green Cafu, who is an absolute legend, and he is class, what you will notice about this squad is we did also sell the Arnie to fund all of that stuff with the Everton squad, and also just to try some new cards out, and because Travella is getting an imminent nerf. It is nerfed already on old gen, so PS4 and... I, can't, I can never remember what the Xboxes are called because they're all just called the same thing. Oh, oh, PS4 equivalent Xbox, which is like Xbox X, and then that has it, but the Xbox Series X, which is the PS5 equivalent Xbox, doesn't have it yet. Xboxes are very confusing. Shout out to PlayStation. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> The old gen's got it. The new gen doesn't yet. So we can still abuse Travellers as we did in the last episode with our Jack Harrison. This man is an absolute god. And I'm actually, what I'm going to do, 169 games, 65 goals, 44 assists. I'm going to go back and I'm going to find the stats for my Jack Harrison when we first got him to this stage. I want to know how many goals and assists this man has got in foot champs since he's become super OP. Bear with me. I'm going to go find it. Okay, I found some stats. Before we played foot champs last week, my Jack Harrison had played 140 games. He's played 29 games for me in foot champs and foot champs qualies, which means there's a couple of them where people have gone in and backed out at nil-nil to add extra games on because I've not played 29 games. That's okay. So we've played about 25 games with Harrison. And in them 25 games, wow, this is ridiculous. He scored 25 goals because he had 40 goals and got nine assists. Little Jack Harrison is averaging a goal a game in foot champs and getting assists as well. And when we played foot champs qualies yesterday, literally all we did was force the ball to Tim Kale to do the Tim Kale Evo. And he missed out definitely on scoring some extra goals. We are partway through it. That is insane. But bloody hell, this Jack Harrison is mental. The question though is who else should we try out? Like we've sold Dion. We've got the coins to buy it back if we really run to. We've got like 730k. But one of my favorite parts of this Road to Glory, and just playing this game, is trying new players out and trying different players. And actually, trying now, we're going to go for a throwback. A Queen Returns is basically what this is. It's like some alternate universe, Lord of the Rings, Return of the Queen. Because the first cards I ever spent a significant amount of coins on, like the first big purchase for the Road to Glory was Hume Minson. We, I think we showed that in a video not too long ago where I bought him for 100k and we ended up selling him for like 20 or something like that because he just sat in my club for so long. But before Sun, there was another and she wasn't a massive purchase. She wasn't 100,000 coins. She was fodder but she was absolutely class. And now she has got a road to the final for the Champions League. So we're going to have a go and we're going to pick up road to the final Queen Guru Wrighton. She hasn't necessarily got the biggest of stat boosts, but they've added onto her a playstyle plus. And you guys know how much I love playstyle pluses. And the playstyle plus they've added on is class. It's a really, really good one incisive pass plus i used to go on about this thing just the normal version with harry kane and how good harry kane was at through ball in whoever was playing in front of him dan Juma or whoever it was was back in the day she's got the plus version of it yes maybe her stats haven't got huge boosts from her normal cards but you know she still looks class put a hunter on her basically max pace basically max shooting 93 agility 90 balance five foot six four star four star Left footed to play on the right, got finesse shot, got whipped pass, got dead ball, rapid, technical, quick step, relentless, and incisive pass plus. The games for this aren't for a little while, actually. They, I'm filming this on Friday. We have had the leak for the full Future Stars team. It's not actually out yet. I can't buy any of them. I can't put any of them in my team. 
And I'm actually going away to Nottingham for a esports tournament with the NSPCC. If you guys seen that on my stream where I was competing in it, it's the event this Saturday. So I'm going to that when you guys are watching this video. So we won't be here for Future Stars dropping until Monday when we come back and start and finish foot chaps. So I guess you guys are going to see this video just to keep you guys up to date of what's going on and ticking over. You guys will be seeing this and we'll be trying out Guru and we can maybe talk a little bit then, I guess, about the leaks and what is happening. Because by the time you guys are watching this, you'll see the future stars. But I already know what the team is going to be. And we are still holding out the slimmest of hope that Jared Branthwaite is in the mini release or an SBC that comes out next week or something like that. But it's not looking likely at all at this point that Jared Branthwaite is getting. The only way you'd get one would be if he's in Team 2. The, the Evo and I put him in will be gone by them. So I have to just put him in it. And if EA bring out a Future Stars Bramfight, I will be annoyed because I could have used the Evo on Tarkovsky's inform. But I guess I'll also have two versions of Bramfight that hopefully one of them will be eligible for an Evo for in the future. So swings around the box. Half tempted to just go and put him in it now because the leaks are so reliable and he's not going to be in it, unfortunately. So it, to be honest with you, it might be worth us just going and start on this Jared Brownfaith Evo now because Friday, new team comes out, nothing. The Evo's sticking down. We've got to wait till Sunday. He's not, doesn't seem to be coming out in the mini release either. And then if he does come out at all, this Evo will have expired by then because there's only four days left and the first team isn't even out yet. So he might be in team two. The more I say that out loud, the more logical it seems to just go and slap our brand fight in. I'm still a little bit hesitant, just in case the leakers are wrong. Like, does it actually bother me that much? Or do we just get cracking with it and just start doing it? I'm not sure. The only other thing that's making me hesitate is there's Future Stars Academy is coming back, where EA are choosing the players you can Evo, and they're going to give you cards of them. You never know. We don't know who they are yet. It could be Brand So we'll, we'll hold out. Just for now, let's not get too excited about having an upgrade of Brown Fight. We've waited this long, we can wait another day. It's fine. And I guess, let's then just jump into Foot Champs. Let's get Guru right in full chemistry, first of all. So we can do that by grabbing a manager from Norway, I believe. That should still get Basher full chem. Yeah, because, yeah, 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 this is fine. Let's grab a Norwegian manager. And let's jump into Champs. And let's see what Queen Guru's got about her. All right, game number one. Yashin at centre-back. Hullet Sauer Pop. First owner. Where's my first owner team of the year? Very nice. He's got that new Kimmich as well. We should maybe think about doing that SPC with our 83 times 10s but we can work for that sort of stuff in between games in this episode. So we'll play this game and we'll maybe do some 83 times 10s and then we'll play enough, some more games and come back and give you guys an update and stuff like that. And just keep this, keep the road to glory ticking along. We got some big problemos if he finds that pass and he has... Oh my god. Oh, we've just been absolutely cut apart. That's a very nice goal. Ramona fake. 1-2 to drag my defender out. Cheeky little finesse. Very nice. All right. We've got a game on our hands. Oh, Queen Guru. Oh my god. An instant reply on her debut. What an absolute screamer of a finish as well, by the way. She did. Oh, incisive pass. More like... Uh, uh, power shot? I, I don't know. Good, <laughs> good pass from you, Savior, though. To her. Go on, my queen. They haven't nerfed them yet. They have not nerfed them yet. <laughs> I, I said this in the last episode. I hope when they nerf the Travellers, they are still viable from angles that you should be able to score Travellers from when somebody has Traveller Plus, but you... Can't do stuff like that, basically, because that's bloody stupid in it. That's like patch one finesse shots. That's just ridiculous. You shouldn't be able to do that. She's kept it in. That is just team of the year powers. That is just team. We've just been team of the year. There's not really much else I could do there, to be honest. Like, we tackled her really well with Van Dyke, and then he just sort of stumbled over the ball, and she somehow kept it in because it was stuck to her foot like glue. You're joking me. Come on. Come on. That's got to go in. I green that. And now we get smashed. No, we don't get smashed in the contact. We read it really well. And they give him the ball immediately straight back. And then he kicks it to his goalie. Okay, good commentary, Andy. Look out, Peter Drury. I'm coming for you.
Nice. Did, I don't know if you guys noticed it. I noticed it because I was, I'm the one controlling the players. The way Wrighton did that pass, she did it differently to what a normal person would have just done that pass because she has the incisive pass plus. And I swear, it's like the long ball one where it's like, it's harder to intercept. Like, how is that a thing? Oh, come on, Edison. You've got to save that. As soon as someone scores in this game, the other person just runs down the other end of the pitch. This is mental. Like when a Wobi does a long ball. Look, I even... Oh, Edison, you've got to save that. We, we could try Donnarumma. Back Edison off. But when somebody with long ball plus does a long ball, the defenders just kind of ignore it. And it's like it makes the play style good by... It would... Oh, you're kidding me. You are kidding me, yay. I was hammering the crap. We we're going to have a look at this because this is something that they need to sort out. He plays this chip through all. And you can see in the top, look at the controller. I'm hammering L1 to change to Van Dyke, And it just wouldn't change to him because it had already locked onto the fact that he was going to try and head up with a different player. So Van Dyke just stood there. Jorginho is ridiculous, by the way. We had trouble playing it. Was it him or Garincha that we really struggled against when we played Qualies the other day? He's just blown for half time. Oh my god! He's just blown for half through on goal, mate! He's got to be trolling me. We give it to Guro. It's the 40. It's now the 45th minute. I don't know why there's no added time when there's been seven goals. Look at this. I passed it there. And inside of pass plus, he's thrown goal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, baby. What a game. You're kidding me. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. And my Edison's lost his hands. And apparently my defenders have lost their feet as well because I just went straight through them. Nice. There we go. Four, th five, four. Sorry, five, four. I was going to say four, three. We're still going to go behind either way. Doesn't matter. Come on. Game's ridiculous. Why can't I defend? Oh, what a save. Oh, my God. That was no almost another assist for Guru Wrighton. I need to look back at that and see where I could have done better then. Oh, we tackled him manually again. That's frustrating, man. Oh my God, he's throwing it straight to me again. And he's somehow still got the ball. Is this a wind-up, EA? EA yeah, are on the wind-up, I think, unfortunately. I, I, in the end, I can't believe we've lost that game. Some poor defender from me, really. Just can, can see him kick off goals, to be honest with you. And some nice dribbling from this guy with his Jarzinho. We've missed some big chances in the end. But to be honest with you, I can't really complain. That was a fun game. Like, I don't mind losing games like that. That was a really fun game to play. If we have a little look at the performance, we've got a goal and an assist for Guro, which is very nice. Two goals and an assist for Zinedine Zidane. So all my Zinedine Zidane haters out there, pipe down. We have unfortunately started off with champs of a loss, but it was a fun loss. I enjoyed the game. I don't know what formation he's playing. 4-3-3 three, three, the second or something like that. Fair enough. Good game. Enjoyed that. Tough one to take. Probably should have finished off some of my chances better. Whatever. We're not going to dwell on it. We've enjoyed playing that game. We're going to jump in to some more champs and I'll come back and give you guys an update and probably some 83 times 10. Welcome back then. We've played some foot champs. It's now 6pm and Future Stars is here. Part two of this video, we're going to take a look at the Future Stars content. So this is a little bit different for me. Usually I'm not streaming at six o'clock, but I am at the NSPCC thing this weekend, so I won't be streaming Saturday or Sunday. So I thought in order to get you guys as in the loop as possible before we come back and film another one on Monday, let's have a look at the content because we don't usually do this. I'd be interested to see what you guys think. This video isn't going to go up on Friday evening, but it's going to go up this weekend. And we're actually taking a look at the content and the new stuff that's coming out. And I will show you guys how we're getting on on Foot Champs as well. And how Queen Guru is doing, which is very good. Spoilers, she's really good. I actually really like her. Anyway, Future Stars Academy at 
attackers. So Future Stars Academy is something we had last year, where you had to upgrade cards doing objectives, and you got given better versions of the cards for doing it. Basically, EA's test for Evos seemed to be what that was. Use any two attacking players granted to you in the Future Stars Academy Evo to complete. So this is where they've now made it, and we, there's lots to talk about here as we go through. So we'll jump into the game and have a look. And then we've got actual Future Stars. Some finest young talents in the world, and some icons as well, which is very, 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 very exciting because I know because of leaks, and as we've briefly mentioned in previous videos, that one of, oh, there they all are, there's the Future Stars team. One of the icons is none other than Wayne Rooney. So we're immediately just going to go and have a look at his card, because this is what I'm most excited about. There's no Jared Bronkwaite, there's no Amadou Onana, there's no James Garner, or anything like that. But we do have a Future Stars icon, Wayne Rooney, who's currently tipping the scales at like 1.5. What could you get one for? There's 1.7 and not selling. There's 1.5 and not selling. 1.4. Let's say about 1.4 million. However, he came out 10 minutes ago. So I'm optimistic that when we sell our inform fodder, we'll be able to do this. We'll be able to buy this. We'll be able to have this. We've also got a Wayne Rooney to sell, who's, I mean, I bought him for like three, 400k tonight, and he's played loads of games, and he still to this day comes off the bench. And even in the last game of Foot Champs, he came off the bench for me and scored a goal. We should score the power shot with his power shot plus. The normal card, which I have always hesitated to upgrade to his Centurions, is still 200k. His Centurions is 500, which is only plus one on the stats. This stat boost is crazy. This is like actually ridiculously good. And that is also Everton Wayne Rooney in that picture. I wish, please EA, use coloured pictures instead of black and white for icons. That would look so sick with Rooney in a blue kit on that card. Really nice. But anyway, these stats look mental. He's been upgraded to four star, four star, which is nice because Wayne, Wayne Rooney, as far as I'm aware, and he has three star skill moves. I will just double check that to make sure I'm not. Yeah, he does. He's three star. So he's four star, four star now. He's high, high, which is he had always been. And his stats, he can play striker, cam, and center forward, which is nice as well for fitting him into teams. Obviously, you can do that on the base cards, but you get a little bit more freedom with him than of some of Rikons. And he's now rapid. And not only that, he is rapid with Traveller Plus, which is interesting. So he's still got his power shot, he's still got Relentless, he's got Long Ball, he's got Chip Shot, he's got Finesse, he's got Acrobatic because it's Wayne Rooney, obviously, that goal in the Manchester Derby. And now Traveller Plus, which is an interesting one because he's, well not he, Traveller Plus is getting nerfed as we keep talking about in these videos. It's not actually out yet still. I don't think, the well the patch hasn't dropped because I'm still in the game. It's, it's going to remain to be seen how good Travellers are once the patch comes out. It's out on old gen. I don't know what it's going to do to new gen. It might be the same. It might be different. We'll have to wait and see. I keep saying it and I'm optimistic that this way Rooney will still be good at Travellers, hopefully, when the patch drops and you just won't be able to score Travellers with Basher. And you'll be able to score stupid loopy Travellers from 45 yards. But if you get in a good position on the edge of the box with the Traveller, Rooney will be able to bang it in. That is my hope. That is my wish. Other than that, this card looks mad. He's got six more pace, two more shooting, three passing, three dribbling, three defending, and two physical with four star skills. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm excited. We've switched the playstyle plus round from Power Shot to Traveller, and he just looks class. And we will, of course, be buying him and putting him into our team. Now, lots of other Future Star stuff to take a look at as well, which I'm excited to see. First of all, let me show you my record, which isn't great. It's not, it's not been a good Friday, I'll be honest with you. I haven't really, didn't really enjoy it. That first game that was on camera, I really enjoyed playing. And it was a stupid, it was ridiculous. It was like stupid amounts of goals. And the goals that were going on match, but we both played attack in football. We both tried to score and I had good fun. After that, we played people who were like passing around the back from the 40th minute and just, just, just not enjoying playing, to be honest. And I ended up being two and three on stream after five games. And I was like, do you know what? I'm not enjoying doing this. I'm just going to stop. And I come back a few hours later after I had some lunch, just chilled for a little bit, and managed to win a couple of games in a row, which was very, very nice. Mostly carried by the one and only Jack Harrison, who I promise you, I'm not like just gassing this guy up. He is actually, actually, actually insane. Now look at his stats compared to the start of this video when we were talking about him. He's played seven more games, scored six more goals, and got two more assists. The man is ridiculous. When you compare that to Eusebio, who is, also, averaging just over a goal contribution per game, like Jack Harrison. This you say was two and a half, no. <laughs> it's kind of mental. And then we look at Queen Guru, who's playing on the opposite side. She is also three goals, five assists in seven matches. She's class as well, and I really like Incisive Pass Plus. 
It's obviously going to be... We're going to have to think about how we change this team around, to be honest with you. Because Jack Harrison is a winger, and only a winger, on both sides, which is good for building teams. But Wayne Rooney's a striker. So somebody central is going to have to get dropped. And... I don't know what to do. Do we drop Zidane and bring Rooney back into midfield and play him in midfield as a centre mid? Do we drop Wrighton and play Rooney at centre forward, which is what we always used to play this way Rooney in? That would probably be quite good. But then we've dropped Wrighton for him in the team, which means we have to find a left mid who can slot into midfield or a right mid who can slot into midfield. Which you could, maybe could use a Wobie. I don't know. Lots of thoughts. If you guys have got any class ideas, please do pop them down in the comment section. Salah is unbelievable. Bramfweight is due an Evo. Cafu's class. Bash is good. Van Dijk's broken. Zidane's really, really good. Ducore is really good as well. I'm open to swapping Ducore out because we've used him for quite a lot of games now. And he's not like game breaking ridiculously good, but he's, he's really good. You know, he, he's a good player. He gets the job done. He's a nice, good box to box midfielder, basically. Yeah. Let me know. How do we get Rooney into the team? What's the best way to do it? But let's go and take a look at some of the other stuff because on top of that, there is other icons. So. Let's, let's do it in squad. Let's have a look at concepts of the future stars and the future stars icons that have come out. Just out of pure curiosity, see who got one instead of the Evan plays. Wait, so this is a future stars Evo. So that looks class, actually. So I'm really hoping that we've got a good card that we can do for that. We'll come and take a look at that in a second. This is, the, for some reason, they're called UT stars. Lauren James, two play star pluses. Boniface, two. ganacho has got acrobatic and finesse, which is cool. This card, the opinion, looks very... Good as well with hair play style plus. It's bloody hell, finesse shot and it's that's like is that like team of the year to Broy? Which gets a perfect link to Putelas. Bloody hell. And five star weak foot. That is mad. Cater Balde. Some of these are frustrating to me, I'll be honest with you, because I know Balde's already got a card with quick step plus, and now they give him an intercept plus as well. Doku's got like three special cards already. This ghoul is a cool one. Hobby Elliot, yes, fine. Probably should have got it last year instead. And their new right back from Liverpool should have got it this year, but whatever, it is what it is. Luke Ava looks good. Trinity Rodman is mental. Quick step plus and relentless plus is wild. And then we've got Endo, Pablo Barrios. Uh, some, some okay cards. No Evan cards, unfortunately. But we live in hope. Desperate, desperate hope. Now, also, on top of that, I've gone the wrong way because there's more icons. Now, we've obviously got fixated on Wayne Rooney. But just, you know, just to see what's, what's not going to before we go and have a look at the Evos. Is that a Maldini with Quick Step Plus at centre back? Well, that's going to be impossible to get past. If by some miracle you manage to get the ball past him without him intercepting him with Intercept Plus, he's just going to immediately catch you up anyway. All right, sure. Oh, he's, okay, Rooney's 91 and then he has one play style, unfortunately, which is a bit sad, but also probably makes him cheaper and easier for me to get into my team. Whereas Gerald's 91, he's got two. 92, 2, 2, and then the 90s and the 89 have only got one as well. But this Petit looks quite good. Seydorf looks actually really good as a box to box. Crespo is never very good on foot or hasn't been for years. And maybe Steven Gerrard will actually be a good card now. Two play star pluses, both ridiculous for passing. Mission Merseyside if we pack him. Right, Evos, this is what we're most excited for. EA have got a little bit crazy with how they're doing their Evos, as far as I'm understanding it from leaks and from their message there. So. Future, okay, so you get two of these, and they're both free, and they have to be a Future Stars Evo. So, no players in my club are currently eligible for this. It gives... It's very difficult to see because they've made the text screen. <laughs> but, oh my god! It gives two playstyle pluses. Acrobatic plus and power header plus. And is this the same thing? Also acrobatic plus and power header plus. Well, this looks wild! I right, two pace. One star skill moves. I was trying to count the pace. So it's just two pace, two shooting, some dribbling, more shooting, some physical, more shooting, more pace. There you go, seven pace. Bloody hell. Wait, so he, he's he got 98 pace. All right, I assume we've got a pack to get these. Let me go over to the store. And there, okay, here we go, here we go. Is this them? Oh no, Andy, you've got so much fodder. Right, I'm desperate to see. I need to find a space on here. There you go. There you go. Let's quickly throw these into an Evo, into an SPC. All right, so to get rid of all them, we're gonna put them into an 85 plus player pick, just because it's quick, and also because we might get a future stars in it. Not optimistic. My pack look on the road to glory recently hasn't been great, but what are we saying EA? Nope, okay, Lucy Bronze, Urbadov, and Urtegaard. All right, triple 87, no worries. Thank you, Lucy. 
in you go to the club girl. Now, EA, talk to me. I want to see what I can do with these Evos. I want to see who the players are. I want to see if there's an Everton player. Where are they? Future Stars Academy, attacker back. Ferreira, Okafor, Torres, Rodri, not that Rodri, Dina Abimbe, Athena, Brian, Broby, and Mallard. Well, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Now, nah, I, I can't really moan. Obviously, everyone wants a future stars for their club. I've, I've, I am fully on board that Jared Brownfoy deserves one. But this is all attackers, so Everton don't have an attacker, really, that deserves a future stars. Unless he went mental and he wants, like, Lewis Dotton or something like that. So, it, that is what it is. That is fine. We'll probably do these Evos just for the sake of it. Because they're going to give, at, at minimum, good fodder, you know? We may as well chuck somebody in. And if, oh, we've got one! Oh my god, oh my god. French? CDM? Have we just packed Petit? Wait, what is this? Le Muel. <laughs> I just randomly opened that pack just because I thought, why not? And, uh, okay. Sure, I mean, if I've packed her, I assume she's not really worth anything. And she's obviously untradeable, is that She's going to be like 40k. That's pretty cool, though. Nice, thanks EA. Let's jump over to our Evos then. And let's take a look at these players that we can now put into it. And is there any other Evos that have come out? Not yet. All right, can't get too greedy. It's only day one. We can preview any of them now. The playstyle pluses it gives make me think that this Okafor is going to be the best. He's six foot one. He's got 95 jumping. And he's four star, four star. And he's got 18 hand agility at six foot one. What does this guy look like once he's gained pace? Shooting, dribbling, chip shot, power header plus, some skill moves, acrobatic plus, 98 pace, 88 dribbling with 96 agility, 97 strength, 99 jumping, 86 shooting, power header plus, acrobatic plus, magnetic first touch, rapid quick step. Are you buying? Oh my god, five star skills. I love it! This is wild. Oh my god. I mean, Mallard, I assume his stats are going to be mental when you get to the end. Yeah, she's a lot more a lot more rounded. 92, 93, 89, 94. But obviously suffers from the fact that she's got power header plus and is 5 foot 7. What about Broby? 90 shooting, 97 pace, 97 balance. 99 strength, 99 jumping. Bruiser, aerial. Power header, acrobatic, rapid. Four star, four star. Low, low wear rates. That is bizarre. These Evos are crazy. Oh my god, EA, please give me a centre back one of these for Jared Brown fights. I beg you when we get to that point. Please. Yeah, again, five foot six. It does get five star skill moves from it, but he's got power header plus when he's five foot six. That's a bit mental. Same for acrobatic. Torres is five ten. That's not too bad. Ferreira is five nine again. So I'm, okay, Dina Bimbe, but he's only got four star skills. This makes a five star, five star Athena, which is pretty mental. High low work rates, five star, five star, 93 pace, 92 dribbling. Obviously kind of wasting the playstyle plus because she is five foot three. But you never know, if she gets a head on something instead of a volley for another player, might be worth doing. I am very excited to see what other stuff EA are gonna read. They are crazy. Uh, you can't be annoyed because, I mean, obviously I won one and I'm going to pretend to be like, oh, give me my brand for ATA, but you know, just for a bit of content or whatever. You can't actually be annoyed if one of your players from your team doesn't get one of these because there's not that many that are going to get one. But you can only appreciate that these things are mental. And if you do get lucky and you support Milan or you support Man U or you support Ajax or something like that, you've just got an absolutely unbelievable card. This Okafor looks mental and we might just try him in our team anyway. Let me go and have a quick scout and see whether there's anything else. There's got to be some objective, surely. Okay, so this was one of the ones that I didn't pay too much attention to because he's 86 rated. And this is why. And it's because he's free. He's from an objective. Future Stars Day play Year of the Dragon for Chinese New Year, which is cool. And that's about it so far. All right. We have got all these packs, actually, to try and pack ourselves up <laughs> in the Team of the Year bonus. We're obviously working towards getting ourselves a second red pick, ideally. 
on the fence whether that's going to happen because we are four and three. So we need to go ten and three on Monday when we finish our foot champs off. But let's round this video off with a what's going to be better? An eighty-five times three, maybe? Nothing too jazzy. Sadio Mane. I don't know if I've just lost my head, but in that pack we got a duplicate Declan Rice. And I have just done the 85 squad for Claudia Pena. Because I just can't fathom how cheap she is and how good that card looks. So we're just going to get it because we've got lots of packs to get fodder with. So we may as well. We've got to put it somewhere, you know. Is this going to give me pop? It's always pop. Okay, she's 87. That's good for the other squad. And I, this is what I'm saying. We may as well. And my trade pile's full of fodder. So, I, I can't say no, really, to be honest with you. I don't think, I think I got ridiculously lucky to pack that other one in the, literally the first pack. But we just got a duplicate Irene Paredes. We have. All right, that's more 88 fodder. Where else is in here? Some 85s. An 85, a couple 84s, and then the rest 83s again? All right. Do you know what? We will leave that there because I could sit here and chat to you guys about future stars for ages. But that is the promo. That is my first thought. That is my literal first look and reaction to all of this stuff. Let me know if you liked me doing that. I can. I don't know if I'll stream at 6 p.m. every weekend, but we can add on to the Road to Glory that I filmed that day. A little reaction to the promo and stuff like that at the end. That would be something you guys would be interested in. But for now, I'm going to leave it there. I'll be streaming on Monday and we'll finish off our foot champs and maybe pack ourselves a future stars in the rewards or even get a Wayne Rooney into the team. We'll have to see his price. I'll see you then.